Hello everybody, my name is Jesse Mwai. I'm a pastor with Christ Seasons and Ministries, currently serving in our church in Woodley here in Nairobi. Uh, today we're going to have a conversation with a young lady all the way from Ethiopia, Addis Ababa. Her name is Wongel, and Wongel is a young lady and a thinker, and uh, she's passionate about changing the world, she's passionate about transforming people, and we're going to have a conversation and our conversation will center around the pursuit of meaning. Wongil, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Is there anything else you'd like to tell us about yourself um, before we start? So, yes, I'm, I'm very passionate about seeing my, my continent transformed. So um, I'm involved in a few different projects or initiatives. Um, I will, I guess I'll share about it more as we, as we go on. Good. Yeah. Well, we want to talk about the pursuit of meaning because this world is full of meaninglessness. Everybody doing this or that or the other. But sometimes people just do things, you know, <laughs> driven by money, driven by the pursuit for fame and fortune. But we want to get to the core of this issue. What does it mean to live mm. a meaningful life? So one girl, just share a few thoughts about mm. the pursuit of meaning. So I had, I had this random idea recently. Uh, well, it seemed random at the time and I remember I was just walking into the office and I was thinking how you know growing up almost everybody's asked uh, you know what do you want to be when you grow up and it's, it's a great question sounds harmless but at the same time I was I was thinking you know what do you want to be it's not really the right question to ask um, instead maybe it should be what do you want to do or what do you want to change or you know what frustrates you about this world so much that you would dedicate your life to it uh, if we were asked that question, I feel like um, we would grow up in a different mentality. I think the difference between those two questions is not, it's not just words, but really it's the difference between chasing a job or chasing a certain title or a position as opposed to chasing a certain vision or uh, you know, a certain change, um, which I think is the, is the basis for, for really having meaning in life. It's about purpose. But when it becomes about just job titles, it becomes about a cyclical life. And, um, you know, I was thinking, you know, in the future, I could ask my children, you know, well, what do you want to do? <laughs> not, um, not what do you want to be? And, um, for example, a lot of people think being focused is about doing one thing or, you know, having one certain position. But I think being focused is more about having one vision. And as long as everything that you do is towards that vision, then you're focused, you know. Um, sometimes, uh, as I was mentioning, you know, I do quite a bit of different things. So I run a creative media company. Um, I lead different initiatives like the Young African Thinkers. Um, there is the Youth Mag. Uh, I mean, different initiatives. And sometimes it feels like I'm all over the place or, you know, I'm doing different things. But at the core of it, really, they all work towards the same vision that I have, which is, um, just mobilizing young people and and using the gifts and talents that we have for the glory of God. And I see that um, sometimes if you see me during the day during, you know, there's a YIT meeting here and then a creative media doing something with clients, it might look like it's everywhere, but uh, at the end of it, they all work towards the same vision. And I see that as being focused and I see that as pursuing something bigger than just, you know, a certain title. Um, so yeah, that, that's some of the yeah. thoughts I've been having. Yeah. So from what I hear you say is that it's not just about getting a job. It's not just about getting a big title. Yeah. Um, that life is bigger than just having a big job. In other words, we should, just, we should be defined not just by the positions that we occupy, yeah. but there has to be meaning behind yeah. the things that we do. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Because, um, I mean, everybody has positions or everybody could be a uh, media personality or anybody can be a doctor or an engineer but then as Christian young people or as, as Christians what's going to set us apart because anybody can work and have a great position everybody everybody has a great mm -hmm. position but then what's going to be the difference mm -hmm. with you know as Christians what sets us apart okay. this is the question okay so it means that you can actually have a job somewhere maybe have a good great education have a job somewhere, 
but it can actually become meaningless for you. Pointless. Yeah. yeah. You can actually be making a lot of money, but it's really doesn't really amount to much. It doesn't change the world. Yeah. It doesn't change the world. Yeah. You know, and um, but um, in the times that we're living in, and of course a lot of our young people, I mean just across the, the globe, mm -hmm. um, you find a lot of young people really trying sometimes, some of them of course trying to make a difference in the world, but then you still have the ma vast majority of them mm -hmm. who their primary purpose in life is to get that dream job yeah. so that I can be able to afford to buy that dream home mm -hmm. or drive that dream car or be able to do stuff. Yeah. Um, what, what would be your message to them? I mean, it's, it really breaks my heart to see young people chasing after that really because it's, it's a, it's, it means their energy has been misdirected. You know, um, it, that's what the world tells us. The world tells us that success is all about having a nice house, a nice car, a nice job, and then have a good family, and then, you know, you've lived the life. But, but that's a lie. You know, that's the lie that the world has told us, and everybody's, you know, running towards that. But um, I think as when we're saved and, and to make the, the fact that Jesus died for us worth it, then we need to live a life that's actually different from the world. Because as I said, anybody can work and get that. Anybody can do that and, and get those things. And it's, it's, it's not about that because that's, it passes away. The world is going to end. And then all of it will have been completely meaningless. Like the wisest, you know, like King Solomon said, the wisest person in the world, you know, said it's all meaningless. It will all pass away. But when we connect our vision, we find it in God, then we're actually contributing to something eternal because that doesn't pass away. You know, the vision that we, that, uh, that we get for God, from God and when we serve His purpose, then we're actually serving an eternal cause. And then that will have been worth it. You know, okay. that will have been worth this life. Mm, great. Yeah. Stay tuned because uh, in our next broadcast, uh, Wonga will be telling her, as a young lady, how did she get, you know, to begin thinking some of these things about meaning and what have you. And I'm sure she'll be able to share with us probably a little bit about her own journey. You have been watching Sitem Church online, and until our next broadcast, we want to wish you all the best and God's blessings. And we also want to encourage you to please get in touch with us. Uh, you can call us, you can uh, go on Facebook or any of the social media platforms and get in touch with us, and somebody will definitely be there to respond back to you. God bless you. <music>